Are our ubiquitous printers traitors oh, in our midst? Oh, they are. Yes, they are. They are. Uh, yep. Um, th this began as a master's thesis uh, titled Exploiting Network Printers, a survey of security flaws in laser printers and multifunction devices. And uh, this uh, computer science grad who was working on his master's in, in computer science and network security uh, took a very close look at printers. Uh, in his little in, in the introduction to the paper he created, he wrote, the paperless office has been a dream for more than three decades. However, Nowadays, printers are still one of the most essential devices for daily work and common Internet users. In, instead of getting rid of them, printers evolved from simple printing devices to complex network computer systems installed directly in company networks and carrying lots of confidential data in their print queues. This makes them an attractive attack target. And uh, in this paper, uh, uh, this person and two others go, th you know, basically take a very careful forensic look at, at, the, at 20 uh, mainstream printers, uh, HP LaserJet 1200, 4200N, 4250N and on. There's like one. There's like seven HPs, two brothers, three Let's Lexmarks, three Dells, a Kyocera, two Samsungs, a Konica, and an Oki. Every single one has a a varying number. In some cases, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different classes of vulnerability. And so what we have, I mean, and this shouldn't surprise any listeners to the podcast. I mean, the details are interesting. Oh, in fact, the, the last column in the chart in the show notes is number of printer vulnerabilities they found. And in some cases, the, the two very popular HP laser jets, the 4200N and the 4250N, both have 12 separate vulnerabilities each. Other ones have seven or 10 uh, and and seven, nine, ten, ten, five, eleven. I mean, so rife with problems. 